Hey guys, are you here? And today I have some gameplay for you guys from my Shadow Priest. And I actually have not played my Shadow Priest in a hot minute, but my friends uh, Cuban, aka Versace, and the Frost Mage Yule Cowards, you guys know him as Serral Dog or Serral Dog or Serral Dog. I don't know how to say it, but he's a uh, rank one Frost Mage. And he uh, plays in tournaments and stuff like that. Really, really good guy. But they asked me to play some, some God Comp, and that's Mage. Um, Priest, Paladin, or oh, you can play the Rest of Druid as well, um, and usually play to the Frost Mage. And this is a comp that doesn't really work that well, but we were having a fun time with it last night, and it was just fun to play with some friends. So you can play this comp. It's not the greatest on ladder. You're going to have a lot of trouble if you fight Lock Shaman. You're going to have a lot of trouble if you fight um, a lot of like casters, but you do well against like Hunter Ret. You do okay in against like Hunter Feral. You can do okay against some things like this, like Arcane Feral, or maybe like, um, and, uh, you should maybe probably lose to an RMP, but you could you could take some wins off some RMPs as well. So against some of the stuff in the meta, it's actually pretty good, but against generally against everything on ladder, you're not gonna do incredibly well. Um, just quickly, I am playing Shadow Crash, I am playing Life Swamp, I have the Silence, I have the Fears. Um, and just to let you guys know, if you guys did not watch my last video, this little circle right here, if you guys are like, what the heck is that? That's an eye tracker. That's where I'm looking in the game. Like when I'm playing, not where I'm looking right now, but when I, where I'm looking in the game. And if you follow the circle around the screen as I'm playing, it'll actually show you guys where I'm looking. So it's pretty cool um, if you guys want to check that out as well. Checking out a lot of buffs and debuffs and things like that. Um, my main priority here, I want us to stay stabilized. I'm going to be looking for mass dispel on things like sheep or fear onto my paladin. I'm gonna be looking for setups with silence and hammer of justice. I'm gonna be spread pressuring with the vampiric touch at the shadow word pains. I'm gonna be going into void form once we have some offensive pressure. I'm um, right there, as you can see, I'm gonna um, just rewind that real quickly. The paladin is in the, the polymorph. We're getting low. It's either going to be his trinket, his bubble, my dispersion, or um, they have no kicks, right? They have no counter spell, and they have no kick from the Feral Druid. So we just go ahead and cast this Master Spell. Master Spell the Paladin out of the Polymorph, and then he tops us back off. He goes into another Polymorph, so it's still actually a little bit scary here. I can throw a shield onto myself if I want. I have Dispersion if I need. I have Life Swap. Playing a little bit more defensive, playing back. But playing back against this isn't necessarily a good thing. So mentally, you would think that pulling back in a more defensive position can you know help you a lot of the times but just to just to tell you guys why that's not always beneficial arcane mage does more damage when we're stacked okay so if we stay if i was at say in the middle of the map and my pally was back here and we spread apart the mage is doing less damage so me pulling back actually kind of hurts our team in addition the feral now has an easier time to be safe targeting me and kick the paladin he has an easier time spreading bleeds he has an easier time um, double stunning, stunning paladin, stunning me, or stunning pally, stunning mage, um, something like that. So actually spreading apart against this team is very, very good. And stacking, even though it might be like, oh, um, it feels defensive to run away from them, stacking a lot of the times can get you killed. Once again, I'm going to rewind that again, bash on the paladin, mage casting the polymorph. Okay, um, going for the mass dispel onto the paladin. They have no kicks available. Boom. This job, if they want to sheep my paladin, need to do a better job of cross seeing me with either stuns or kicks um, so that mass dispel doesn't actually go off. Now, the icy veins um, from my mage was used. The arcane mage stole it. Now, a ton of damage is coming off to me. This could be my dispersion if my paladin gets locked out or CC'd here. There's another polymorph being casted. I actually faked that spell, um, the counter spell and the mass dispel there. Um, so, just real quick, guys. Before I'm casting Mass Dispel, I'm looking to see if they have kicks. If they have kicks, I Fate Cast the Mass Dispel. If they don't have kicks, I'll cast it plain out. That's why I knew he was gonna going to kick that Mass Dispel because he had that kick available. Um, if he didn't have that kick available, I'm just going to hard cast it. You know, I'm not going to go for any fakes. Unfortunately, I did fake the counter spell, but the stun was still... Um, there to cover the polymorph and they this time this team did a great job of stopping that master spell covering their CC covering the sheeps covering um, it so that it doesn't get master spell so they can actually build some pressure I like that just mid game these guys are learning this priest is playing vim I believe I think it just got knocked off right there so if we keep this priest under 80% life he is going to be doing 20% less healing and he is playing vim as we can see it's back up right there um, so we're kind of instead of doing setups you might be wondering like why aren't you just getting like a polymorph and a hodge or a or a silence and a hodge we can do that 
that works. But at the same time, against a priest, it's Vim. If we just do damage to all three, all three of them will really rot down. We'll take the Vim off of the priest. Priest does not get focused will since we have no melee attacking him. So he's going to be doing 20% less healing. He's going to be taking like 20 or 30% more damage than he's used to taking um, because the, you know, the melee attack doesn't proc that focused will. And then at the same time, we're rotting down the mage and the feral. That's the strat that we're kind of going after. However, we can do setups as well when we want to throw a polymorph out, throw a hammer of justice out, or just throw a silence out with a hammer of justice and kind of go from there. I'm getting pretty low. Looks like this might be my dispersion. I do hop into that disperse, keep myself nice and safe. A little preemptive there. Might have been able to hold on to it, but it was the first disperse of the game. Wasn't feeling too scared. Still have life swap available. I think we still have another sack available for my paladin as well. Just want to make sure we don't die. Paladin actually throws that sack out right there. Um, once again... It was to sack the polymorph, but the polymorph didn't come off, so it wasn't really quite needed. So we're using defensives a little bit preemptively, but that's okay. Mage goes from the ice block, gets master spelled immediately. Now he's popping a ton of cooldowns and the second sack comes out. So within this last minute, we've used two sacks and a dispersion. Things are getting a little scary. Still have that life swap. Pally still has his bubble. He has no trinket though, so we want to keep an eye out on that. Um, Priest... Doing a decent job keeping his team alive. We're doing a lot of spread pressure right here. But as you see in Gladius or just anywhere on the map right now, they are all rotting. If we live a little bit longer, we're going to be okay. There's the life swap that comes out. So they've actually been doing a great job offensively in this past minute and a half or so. Um, but I have another dispersion in about 20 seconds. We should be getting another sack up soon in a little bit. Pally still has bubble and his trinkets coming back as well. So we're getting a lot of cooldowns back up. Use the master spell there to fake the kick. And now since there's no kicks, I go for the master spell. I trink it to go for the MD now. I do manage to get it. So once again, want to keep an eye on that Omni bar. Make sure the enemy team has no kicks and uh, kind of go from there based on whether you should fake cast or not fake cast. Uh, Priest taking a bit of damage again. I uh, have that dispersion back available, so we're feeling much better now. Um, I could probably use my Void Torrent a little bit more, even if I cancel it just for the haste buff that it gives uh, me and my teammates. But... I just kind of noticed that right now. Have not been up there as I say that I use it. Good job, Zaris. Um, but my mage is in the polymorph. Bash on the ma uh, bash into a poly on the pally. He trinkets into that re polymorph. So this is actually a little bit scary here. Um, my pally, I think, is just saying to trust him at this moment. Yeah. Pally says to trust him. Feral gets bursted down. I'm actually going to rewind just for a second. The priest was actually in a polymorph. And then um, the, the feral was in a hammer of justice. And we are bursting him down in that. Um, Feral's getting very low. The mage is low as well. And at this point, you can either like choose to just run them all down and just keep going deeper and deeper into dampening and slowly kill them until the priest is out of mana and they're all out of defensives. Or since the priest has no trinket, we can throw the polymorph um, into maybe a fear, polymorph into a silence, polymorph into a uh, re-polymorph, something like that, and then just burst someone down. And that's kind of what happens here. We have the shadow or dust. We have the shadow crash if we need it. But that glacial spike, I think my mage is actually playing glacial spike, hit that feral very, very hard. Um, yeah, and that was kind of this game, guys. Wasn't too bad. I'll show you the scoreboard here in a second. I had a lot of fun playing my Shadow Priest. I have not played Shadow Priest in months. This is my first time playing Shadow Priest in a long, long, long time. So when these guys asked, naturally, I was just like, yes, I, yes, I will play. Um, as you can see here, my eye trackers, I'm looking at that top damage. Sorry, he's pumping on the damage. 81 million um, damage here. My mage actually did quite a bit of damage, even as a frost mage. Because frost mages, guys, if you don't know, don't do the most damage overall. But they have very high burst, very high control. So that's what we're kind of bringing him for. And he was playing Glacial, I do believe. And uh, just a quick note on that. He's playing Glacial because if he's casting Glacial, he's baiting kicks. If he's baiting kicks... Um, that means I can free cast more. So it's really just two bait kicks, um, if you guys were curious on that. But 2300-ish MMR, having a fun time on the Shadow Priest, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and a big thumbs down if you did. And I always read the comments or try my best to about what type of videos you guys want to see for next time. So yeah, definitely be sure to chat with me down there and be like, we don't want any more Shadow Priest that was boring, or we want more of this, or we want more of that. Or if you want a specific type of game, also let me know. Tons of cool stuff in the works um, for the future of this year. Just to quickly give you guys some teasers, I think we're going to do another giveaway with Razor. I'll let you guys know but it is on my Twitter, so make sure to follow me on Twitter um, within the next couple days. So um, be on the lookout for that. Um, we are going to be working on some Zaryu apparel, and this time a little bit different than the last apparel lines, um, and that should be ready in the, uh, in the next month or two. Hopefully, you're going to be working on some designs for that. Um, and then, guys, we hit an all-time sub-high on the Twitch. Um, just 
Uh, I, I just woke up, so the last night streaming with an all-time sub high on Twitch. That's just wonderful. Just hitting a bunch of milestones, and it's it's just absolutely amazing. And we're doing some beta key giveaways. Guys, if you want to play beta and you want to take part in the beta key giveaways, make sure, once again, to follow me on Twitter. I've been doing some there, but also just watch me live on Twitch, and I've been doing the beta key giveaways live on my stream every single night. So... If you guys want a chance to win any of that cool stuff or just uh, want to be a part of what's going on around here this year, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.